First at four today, Governor Andy Bashir says there is no sign yet of the Omicron variant in Kentucky. But as WDRB's Lauren Smith tells us, he's sounding the alarm as COVID cases are spiking once again. With COVID cases again on the rise, Governor Andy Bashir warning Kentuckians not to get complacent, especially with the Omicron variant looming. It's not done with us. We can't be done with it. While there is concern across the globe about the new Omicron variant, Governor Andy Bashir says it's Delta that is still making Kentuckians sick. We had over 3,000 cases for the first time since October 1st yesterday. I anticipate we will have over 2,000 cases again today. We are seeing cases escalate. And the positivity rate has risen above 8%. Now, I do believe part of that is waning immunity. That's why Bashir is urging booster shots, but also warning against Kentuckians letting down their guard as the weather changes. But typically behavior around this time of the year changes. It gets colder. Uh, we come inside. We have lots of, of holiday gatherings. As for the Omicron variant. The state of Kentucky has not yet seen a case. But Public Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack says it's not a matter of if, but when Omicron appears. It is important to be careful and concerned. It is not a time to panic. We have much better tools now than we did when this pandemic started last year. Stack says the potential impact of Omicron is still unknown. We don't know. Will it make the virus more transmissible? Will it spread more easily between people? We don't know if it'll make the disease more severe. Bashir acknowledging the General Assembly has limited his power to take action if necessary. With uh, cases increasing, certainly. Um, I, I would have uh, required school systems uh, to, to have universal masking. I think it's a no-brainer. Bashir and Stack say they may sound like broken records, but the best protection against any variant, vaccines, social distancing, and masking in indoor public spaces. At the state capitol in Frankfurt, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News.